hello hey everyone this is Ashley Monique okay this video is uh, a review my review for um, a little bit of episode one of Empire that comes on Fox and uh, but mostly episode two this is season one uh, episode one episode two okay first off I just want to say this shit is good it's good it's great i love it um just like i'm pretty sure just like uh you guys i thought what because i don't watch much tv but i thought it was based off of um hustle and flow but it's not because i saw uh i went i did a little bit of research i went to the um, empire uh youtube page and saw how the creator i uh, was Ride and listen to music. Then he called Lee Daniels. Then Lee, Dan Lee Daniels called Taraji. Then Taraji said, "Well, I'm not gonna do it unless you get Terrence Howard." And Terrence, at the end of the day, this shit worked out and it's good. Okay, basically, it's about um, a rapper who uh, had a girlfriend. I guess I don't want to say. Well, shit, she seemed like a queen pin. Um, and you know what, you know, if I don't know if y'all remember now, but Taraji also played a queen pin. This shit is just full circle. And check behind me. Taraji played the queen pin in the rapper Common song. I think it was called Testify. I don't know if it's called Testify, but I know uh, the, the chorus goes, Anyway, look up comment in the song Testify, but Taraji played a queen pin in that. But basically, uh, Terrence Howard is the, I would say baby daddy, but husband of um, Taraji P. Henson, a.k.a. Cookie. And um, they used to stay in the hood. She, they, she was selling drugs, but he was an aspiring rapper. I guess we ain't got that far yet, but basically, um, she got knocked went to jail and she uh he's they had three kids three boys uh i guess andre jamal and hakeem but really and truly we only discuss hakeem and jamal because that other boy but i see on episode two they just brought him in his storyline in. but anyway so basically she goes to jail and he continue doing what he need to do as a rapper he gets big he, you know he make more money he has his own label empire so he finds out that he has ALS which is what all the celebrities was doing a couple months ago with the ice bucket challenge and that's one thing I want to point out about me liking this show is that they ain't basing this shit off some shit from a long time ago they making this shit current relevant relevant so I'm pretty sure on the next episode, well, towards the end when they found out that he got ALS, they're probably going to be doing an ice bucket challenge. Ain't no telling. But anyway. So, yeah. So, now he found out that he got um, ALS and his doctor said, I don't even like her. I don't even like her. On that first episode, I really didn't even like how she came in. You got three years. Maybe less. Maybe more. But there's no cure. I'm like, girl, the, your acting skills suck. You know, um, she didn't even, I don't even think she had on even a doctor's uh, coat or whatever. But anyway, so, um, so now he's trying to find an heir to the throne, to the Empire throne. So, of course, everyone wants it, um, but it ain't as bad as people think. The only people that's really bad, the only person that's really bad is, I think, Andre, the oldest one. And he got that damn Coco fucking Marshmallow on his arm and she is the mastermind of him like and we just found out on this episode episode two that this this nigga crazy so so something i knew something won't right i ain't saying that he ain't fell in love with her but i knew something won't right about her because every time it's time for him to make a decision or do something she always want to suck on something she always want to kiss on something like ah, like girl get your ass up off your knees and do some work so, but he says she's smart. That's what he told his mama. They met in college, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, she knew black man, sucker. You know, he come, he got money, whatever. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure later on down the road, we'll find out what her story is. 
But anyway, back to this episode. This episode was good. It gave us some more insight on um, Cookie, what she what she's about, a little bit about what she's about. You know, um, her bond, trying to bond with her kids, but the only one that's really bonding with her um, sincerely um, and genuinely is Jamal, which is the middle son, which is the the, um, the gay son, the homosexual. And his dad, Lucius, has an issue with him being oh homosexual because in that damn first episode when they did the flashback and they put oh my god when he put jamal in that motherfucking trash can oh my god that shit burnt me up just like i'm pretty sure it burnt all y'all up i was like this nigga did this nigga put the lid on the trash did this nigga just stuff his son with the i don't give a damn if he had on high heels a scarf if he had on pearls if he was throwing up a, a dynasty sign i don't give a damn you don't do that to kids like ugh. that just had me so high i was like you know what because i'm gonna let y'all know now that i when i watch shows and tv i get out because i don't really watch tv that often but when i watch something i watch it and I associate the actor or actress with the character. I was so pissed with uh, Terrence Howard that I said, if I ever see his ass in Walmart in South Carolina, I'm hitting him with my fucking buggy. And anybody who got hit with a buggy behind on their heels, they know that shit hurt. You know. Mm. I'm still pissed by that. And that was last week. And I watched that show three times. Because I was like, I know he didn't. But God damn it, yes he did. But anyway. Lucius has an issue with Jamal being a homosexual. He not like like uh like his uh boyfriend, whatever the fuck his name is. I know um Cookie call him Dora. She said, Shut up, Dora. This bitch let me tell you something. Cookie is inspiring a lot of ghetto ass bitches. Like she really is her fashion, her her uh her slang, her attitude. She ain't ghetto ghetto, but you know not to fucking play with Cookie. And uh, the rapper, what's his name, Fofo, um, and his lights, and uh, Lucia's light skin, Rihanna slash Alicia Keys looking like bitch. I cannot wait for the episode to get to where Cookie can put her hands on her and make some fucking Play-Doh out of this bitch. Because I don't like her. Because I didn't like her when her ass come, when they saw her, when they saw Cookie at the damn, um, the gate and Cookie all like, motherfucker, open it up. Like, she doing all of that. Then next, you know, this bitch come walking out in some lingerie. Talking about, oh, 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 we have, we have company. We have guests. Bitch, you, you, let me tell you something. Because she ain't ugly. We'll give her that. But you know what making her ugly her attitude and her insecure way. So she's a old pretty ass insecure bitch. That's what you call them. You know them girls that's pretty but they're dumb as fuck. Pretty dumb. So she is a pretty insecure ass bitch until I said that. Um so yeah, that's what's going on with that. Um but let me tell you about Cookie. You know what? We can just do a vlog about Cookie. Cookie when Cookie got out that damn uh taxi cookie said i was like did this bitch just say pay that afghanistan when she got out the damn taxi i said cookie you is disrespectful but that shit was funny as hell i ain't gonna lie i started laughing then i, I was like is, is that racist <laughs> I said, is that racist am i supposed to laugh at that but um I cannot stand that girl i cannot stand lucia's uh girlfriend i guess she's head of a and r um that fucking cornbread colored ass bitch. I don't. I'm sorry, but I don't like her. She um she 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 just a little too much for me. Um, I also want to go ahead and let y'all know. Um, I'm trying to steal Becky's job, aka Precious, aka Gary Sidibe. Um, I want that shit, and um, you ain't even got to call me Becky. I'm a big girl. I'm a BG. Uh, I can do it. Throw me on some heels. Slap me. No. I don't want her wig. Fuck that. Give me a look. We'll just blow dry mine. Uh, do the little Dominican blowout flip. I don't need no weave. I got hair. I have plenty of hair. Trust me. Um, but um, uh, what else? Oh yeah, yeah, I want her job. I can cook. I can cater. I look. I can answer the phone. You know. Um, uh, hello, Empire. Like, j you know. Look, you ain't gotta give me that many lines. I'll do it, you know, um, 
But you ain't even got to call me Becky. You can call me Brenda. Uh, Brenda Dad. Uh, fucking uh, whatever. Any name to start with a B. I, but I don't want to be Becky. Um, Cookie has an assistant. They introduce her, um, which her name is Portia. And Portia, I feel like Portia is going to be a character. I can't wait to... Um, I can't wait to see more of Portia. Um, I like Portia. Portia, like they got so many people in here that look that that give you the feel of celebrities. Like they they introduced a new girl, um, Tiana, and I when I saw her big ass hair, I was like, oh, she looked like a Tiana. Um, and her they call her Tiana. They got um Lucia's girlfriend who looked like Alicia Keys slash uh fucking Rihanna. Um, they got um. What's the, um, what's, what's the, uh, oh, Portia's, I mean, um, Cookie's assistant, Portia, they got her, um, she give me a, a Fantasia vibe, um, yeah, they, she give me a Fantasia vibe, and, you know, Bucky, Bunky, I'm sorry, Bunky, um, God, what, how do, God bless this, whatever, how they say it, anyway, um, Bunky, they show Bunky body, and, um, what did they do? Um, I didn't like how they showed Bunky Bunky's body. Um, I didn't like how they gave that graphic scene of Bunky. Bunky. It was like some on, on some old CSI type shit. I was like, what the fuck is they doing? Like, I, I didn't like that. But um, Vernon, whatever his name is, one of Lucia's homeboys from back in the day. Um, he went to go ID the body. So, you know, and Lucia's old lying ass. Oh, didn't he put on a show? Didn't this nigga cry? I was like, you know what, Terrence, he need to stop. I, cause I'm still mad with him by um fucking uh putting Jamal in the trash can, and that been years ago. That been about twenty twenty five years ago. But I'm still pissed at him. But he sent his lying ass up. They crying, and then uh fucking cornbread goes. She trying to comfort him with her old pretty fucking. Ugh, I can't. She could not. Matter of fact, all the women on the show is pretty much gonna be conniving, obviously. Um, Hakeem showed his ass in that bar. You can tell black kids who ain't had no beatings growing up, cause ain't no damn way I would. Listen, if I ain't gonna cut up and show out at a gas station or a damn grocery store, I ain't cutting up in Piggly Wiggly, Food Lion, Bilo. No. My mama ain't having no shit like that. <laughs> no. So you can tell kids that ain't had no beating growing up or whatever. Um, what is it? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so finally glad that they zoomed in on the lady boy. Because I was trying to figure out what the fuck was. I was like, it looked like a dude, but it sounded kind of like a girl. So when they was in that bar, they zoomed in on her. Him? I don't know. All I know is I think it's a girl where well, she's portraying as a dude and she was Hakeem's DJ. So whoever that is. Um, but so basically with that I like how they are like I said earlier how they're bringing recent stuff in and they're opening up very they open up avenues and letting people in about the uh LGBT and um I'm pretty sure they're probably going to bring on a transgender which is this is good like this is what makes this show good because they're showing a lot of stuff that really is happening in real life this is not no fantasy show or fake show or whatever um Lucius threatened Jamal which is Jamal is um the middle son the one who sings and he's a damn good singer just like Hakeem is a, a good rapper you know I actually listen to songs like his flow or whatever it's, it's good I like it but um pretty much um Lucius did to Jamal what uh what most parents who spoil their kids do he said the two words that rich kids hate which is cut off <laughs> Look, uh, two words that rich kids hate is cut off, meaning they money getting cut off, and two words that um, uh, kid normal kids hate, normal black kids hate is ass cutting, 
I'm going to cut your ass. You know, we hate those words. But um, but as you can see, J Jamal did not go through with um his performance, which oh, I was kind of disappointed about that because he left Cookie. You know, Cookie is our cousin. Fuck it. Cookie is our ghetto cousin now. We've adopted Cookie. I, the, the world, America loves Cookie. Um, So he left my my cousin, my first cousin, standing up there, her and fucking um, Portia, my cousin, homegirl. And I did not appreciate that, but I am glad that she did do the um the news conference thing um with the on the comment about Lucius. And I guess when he saw that, he kind of came out of his shell and spoke up. And I love the quote that she said that he said um what what was it about the being a thug? Um, everybody ain't meant to be a thug, and if you don't like it, um, walk on the that's what sidewalks are for. I don't know, but it was I like it was clever. Um. But let me tell you what another thing pissed me off in this episode too was when Lucius told Jamal, "I'll cut you off. Uh, I'm paying twelve thousand dollars a month for that uh, for that um that loft." I said, "He doing what? Twelve thousand dollars?" And I'm over here selling fucking ice cream and cupcakes and shit, trying to get twelve thousand dollars for a damn ice cream truck, and he just blowing twelve thousand dollars every thirty days. Let me tell you something. Down south, because I'm from South Carolina, we don't do no shit like that. $12,000, we buying a house. That's, we buying a house. We might get a, um, a lawnmower. We going to get some um, some new shoes. Um, we going to get a car. Not no good car car. You know, we still going to the used car lot because we got to make that stretch. You know, um, we probably going to go to the flea market, buy some ball peanuts and get some skins. You know, southern shit. Twelve thousand dollars a month take a southern person a long way. Buy buy a couple cartons of new parts, you know, some southern shit. Um but um Lucius pissed me the fuck off um when he defended Rihanna ass uh Alicia Keys ass cornbread when he uh defended um cornbread in the elevator when but he didn't defend cookie and that shit pissed me off i didn't like that but um he made up for it at the end because he did fire off fofo with his whack ass i ain't even heard a rhyme that he spit but he out uh, if cookie say he whack because that's my first cousin and uh blood is thicker than water uh i believe what my cousin say cookie say so she fired his he fired his ass um I don't like where the Hakeem and Tiana um relationship might be headed because that look like some old fucking uh, Chris Brown and Rihanna type shit. But I guess we just have to watch this stuff unfold. But pretty much, I kind of wrapped up what happened on um, episode two of Empire. I like it. I love it. Um, I'm, I'm ready to grow with the show. Um, if they call me right now, I'll quit my damn job. Fuck a two weeks notice. I'm out of this bitch. You know, I'm going to work on the show. Uh, I'm about to, you know, I might go to the website, you know, click on careers and see if they hire, you know. Uh, I can brush Gabby Sidibe's wig, her half wig. I could do some shit. But anyway, um, y'all, like, subscribe. I'll be back next Wednesday to do episode three of Empire. Love this show. Bye.